everyone welcome back to our channel if you're new here we're the Garso twins I'm Carly and I'm Britta and if you like this video make sure to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of our future videos today we're going to be doing a get ready with me with a lot of new products but some old favorites some new to us products so let's get into it okay first of all my skin has never looked worse in my life I'm having a reaction to something I'm pretty sure I know what it is but I don't want to say it until I know for sure so I'm on the up and up but please ignore this like entire situation on my face um, so I'm going to start with this CoverGirl Moisturizing Primer. I haven't been using skin primers recently. I've just been using like a thick moisturizing cream, yeah. but CoverGirl was kind enough to send us some primers, mm -hmm. highlighters, their new concealer. We're really excited to try We're today. We're using quite a bit in the video. Yeah, um, so I thought I might as well try this. I'm curious if it has a blue tint. Oh no, it doesn't. It just looks, it actually looks like a sunscreen to me. It's actually oh. really liquidy. Yeah, um, maybe I should use that too. I already have a lot on my face. Okay, how's it fragrance? So okay, I'm not gonna no. use it since my face is in this situation. It smells like artificial cucumber, which isn't my favorite, but that's okay. It actually feels fantastic. Mm -hmm. So I wish that they would have omitted um, the fragrance, but it is what it is. It actually feels really nice. So hopefully this works really well as a base. Okay, for my base, I'm gonna combine three products. So my complexion products. Normally, I just use the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, but since I have this situation on my face, I want to add a little more coverage. So I'm going to add the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear, wear. And then because this is pretty light, I'm going to add a little bit of my D Bronzy Anti-Pollution Drop. So just combine these as Alana would do and um, put it on she my face. She calls it a concoction. A concoction. Um, so I just went in with the Tarte CC Corrector, and I am also going to use... Um, the L'Oreal Fresh Wear Foundation, and I always mix this with a little bit of the Dior Backstage Foundation. If you're curious on our shades, we are 425 in the L'Oreal, but it's a bit light for summer, so that's why I like to mix in 2.5N with the Dior. And I like that this one is so liquidy, so it just adds, you know, it makes it like a tad more sheer. So I do one drop of the L'Oreal with just a to like two tiny drops of the Dior. Also, I don't know when this video is coming out, but I just realized I'm almost out of my complexion rescue and there's a Sephora sale coming up on the 20th. So. It'll probably go up around then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, honestly, um, we're going out of town this weekend, so we're trying to like pre-film a bunch since we won't be able to film next weekend. So I don't know when this video will be going up, but I think I have too much product on my hand. Okay, I need to talk about my new favorite foundation brush. What's my new favorite brush in general? It's I just got it. So it's the Sephora Collection Pro Featherweight line, and it's the number 90 brush, which they call the Featherweight Complexion. It's not super dense. There's some movement. It works so well with cream products, but I also have used it for powder. And at first I was mad that I bought it when I, there was a sale coming up because I literally just got it. But now I'm like, I think I might pick up a second one during the sale. Use this one for foundation and the other one for like everything else. Um, as you can see, I kind of just like dot the product on and then it has enough flexibility that once I like where I put the coverage, you can like take the tip of the brush and kind of like blend it in this way. And in my opinion, it, it's so quick it gives me such an airbrush look. I'm super obsessed. It was about $34. And, um, Ooh, that is pricey. Yeah, but it's the softest, um, what is it called? Synthetic brush I've ever owned. Which I know they're hard to find because animal hair tends to be... Or you know, specific honestly, animal hair, like, well, I don't own any squirrel brushes, but I heard that that hair is really soft. And a lot of the reviewers of this brush said that the hair of this is comparable to their like deluxe like expensive like hundred dollar brushes so i'm really impressed i love sephora collection brushes they've always been they some of my really favorites good brushes. yeah but this one is i mean you will not regret it it can literally do everything powders creams everything they also have a new line that's like a blush pink like the handles are blush pink and they're a little more affordable but they've been getting rave reviews i want to try some oh, really? of those i didn't see that oh, they're gorgeous oh. um Actually, now that you mentioned I ordered something from Sephora yesterday. I ordered, like, their supplement case. Oh, it's funny. it's so cute, and it came back in stock, but it was only $12, so it's not, like, coupon-worthy, really. But uh -huh. yeah, I this would have been a good coupon purchase. So I wanted to tell you if this video does go up before the sale, um, which I believe starts on the 20th, uh, then you should pick it up. And I believe they have a good return policy even on brushes. So if it isn't something you end up liking, you can just, you know. Return. Okay, so now I'm going in with the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. I cannot wait to try this. I'm so excited. It's been getting good reviews. Mm -hmm. The packaging is so, so cute. 
Um, this is the shade. They sent three shades, so I'm trying Classic Ivory. We'll see how this goes. It reminds me so much of Shape Tape, the applicator, which you guys know I've been using for years. It's like the only concealer I use, honestly. I'm so excited. It has such good reviews. Yeah. It's insane. So far, so good. It feels really nice. Do you think I need more coverage on this area? No, I wouldn't cake it up. That's okay. just going to look worse. I was, okay, you're right. Did you put your Tarte CC on, or are you just going in with the concealer? I did that before our foundation. Oh, okay. I'm going to go in with our Tarte CC corrector that we love before the concealer. Wait, I know. This is blending out really, really nice. I think I used too much. I thought it would be thick like the Shape Tape, and with Shape Tape, I feel like it kind of stays where you put it. Like, this is, like, spreading out quicker. So I used too much, but um, that's just user error. But it's blending out really, really beautifully. Oh, oh my gosh. I have, like, a handheld mirror over there. I wish I could go get it because I need to like do close up. I might just move my mirror closer. I'm gonna go see. over with my sponge before I do concealer. Just make sure everything's nice and blended. By the way, I'm using um that pack of sponges that I talked about from Amazon. These are really good. Um, but they do. I someone commented like on that video saying that they felt like too squishy when you first get them, and I agree. Like you really have to use them a few times before it feels perfect. But they're really really nice once you break it in. Okay, I'm going to go in with the Oh, I love this. Oh, I'm so excited. Right, it but, looks really good. Um, we, um, we both are receiving a package, but we only received one so far, so we're splitting up the shades, and I'm a little worried about this shade. Can I maybe Why? use yours? Sure. It looks a little dark and pink. Okay. But this is, so I will say the coverage is, is not one? full coverage, but I feel oh, like I'm going to let it sit under my eyes a bit before blending that little, that little trick that people do. Oh yeah, that is a good trick. I do that. I don't do that with shape tape because it already, it, um, sets pretty quickly. Let me put a little bit more on then. Oh, this, this is gross. Like, so we're sharing concealer. It's fine. I guess no. you have that weird reaction. You didn't touch the rash, right? No, it's right here. Okay. No, I just put it under my eyes. Weirdo. Okay. I'll let it sit a little too then. I'm going to let mine sit. Is there anything I can do while I let this sit? Not really. I just added a little more where my um, spots are the darkest. And by the way, I'm just going to tell you this now before I um, go into this step. Um, I'm going to be using the Becca, what is this called? Satin Refresh Powder. It's the Hydra Mist Satin Refresh Powder. This came in a boxy charm, which is really cool. And I've been wanting to try this because you guys know it's kind of hard to find help free powders that are like I, I really love. The Cover FX one is good. I really want to try the Hourglass one, but this one was on my list to try. So I was super excited when it came in the mail. But it does expire in six months, and I believe that's because of the water content. Uh -huh. So um, if you got this in boxy charm too, just be aware of that. It does expire quicker than other powders. So I want to try to use this up, which is why I'm using it today. I know it's not new, but it's new to me, so I thought I would give it a go. Um, do you think I'm ready to blend? Yeah. Um, I'm putting a little of my Bare Mineral Stick Concealer just on that redness I have. That stuff is good. It's so good. I mean, look at how much I've used. Like, it's almost gone. And that's it. It's like the best me. thing for blemishes. Oh my god, it's it's amazing. Oh yeah, this shade is way too pink. I'm glad I used that one. Yeah, this concealer, like even putting on that second Blending layer, up. I never put on two layers of concealer because I'm always worried that it's going to age me. But that looks really nice, right? Do you yeah. like it? I just started blending. Oh, okay. Like, I feel like it doesn't look too hydrating under the eye, so it's going to crease like crazy, but it's not too matte either. It's like a nice satin finish. Don't you agree? So far, so good, and I'm so picky with concealer, and I have I'm yet... I'm so picky with concealer. I have yet to find my holy grail, which is just sad. I've been wearing makeup. I still love Shape Tape. Um, it's too dry for me. Yeah, but it's so weird, because I feel like we have similar... Skin type I've shown you my eyes. And I've shown you my it. eyes when so I wear bad. like um that Too Faced one that she loves. I look 65. Mm -hmm. That one's are creasing on me bad too though. Oh, so oh this powder is so crazy. Carly, if you want to okay, use it. Okay, this some, concealer looks incredible. I know. Also, usually the drugstore shade range is awful. The only concealer that has really matched me well is the Makeup Revolution in C4, so which is permanently sold out in my Ulta. It is never but there. But now they have the hydrating one. I can't wait to try that. Yeah, but anyways, that's the only shade that has like matched me. And this shade, which did you tell them? It is Classic Ivory. Yeah, Classic Ivory works really, really well. Ooh, this is such a pretty concealer. I know. So do you oh want to try this powder? Because it's like blowing my mind. I'm going to stick with my Laura Mercier. It literally here. feels like you're putting water underneath how weird. weird. I know. It feels so nice though. Not a new thing, but Britta's using it too. I recently rediscovered. Oh my gosh. 
It's so good. We were setting brush from Real Techniques. And I had I, two of them. Yeah, you'll see me use it again for highlighter. I purchased the new packaging for highlighter. Um, so it's just a lighter, prettier color, but this brush is incredible. And I'm gonna get another one too because I've been using this to set my under eyes, but I just feel like you can use it for so many things that I can't set I just my face need another. Right now. Um, okay, now I'm gonna go in with, I feel like we've been talking about a lot of these products and haven't demonstrated them. So I wanted to use this Catrice contour stick that I've been raving about today uh, and show you how I apply it. So, super easy. I've got my Real Techniques Blend and Blur foundation brush here. Another great, oh, and uh, so by the time the video goes up, this will be over, I'm sure. But Real Techniques is 40% off at Ulta right they now. They are? Yes. I know, mm. I know. I wonder if it's in, it's gotta be in store too. But basically, I put a little bit here, a little bit there. And as you saw, I only set my under eyes and my nose um, because I won't be putting this there. So I'm going to start with that amount and just use this brush and blend this backwards. And then kind of like, since it is a bigger brush, I kind of, and like I told you guys, I use this kind of as bronzer, not really contour. I just put it in the areas that I put bronzer, but you would also put contour. But see how quickly this blends out? Okay, it's kind of getting stuck in my hair here. Yeah. That usually doesn't happen. Oh, no. What? I'm gonna use cream blush and I just powdered my face. But you know what, this cream blush is pretty versatile. I think we're gonna be okay. Is it new? Yeah, it's pretty new. It's my Ilia and I've never used it on camera. I got it on okay. the last Sephora sale. Just making sure, because sometimes we say we're gonna use new products and Carly goes rogue and uses all I am favorite. using an old bronzer because honestly, I. Look at how beat up this is. The Marc Jacobs is like completely rubbed off, but look at how much I have left. So I'm just trying to use this. Okay, but are you are you seeing this color? It's pretty. It is pretty. Like this is shocking. How much do I use this no. bronzer? Yeah, remember Alana just spoke about that and how yeah. she was trying to hit pan. She did hit pan on I think. I think she did too. Just but using, she uses, if you guys watch her channel, she uses a lot of bronzer and people come at her for it and I think that's so rude. I, I know, I think it looks the bronzer nice on her. I know. We're using the brush that she prompted us to buy. We've talked about it a lot, a lot in this video. I know. Um, the e.l.f. large stipple brush. Well, it says stipple brush, but I'm pretty sure when you buy it, we bought it when there was e.l.f. stores, <laughs> R.I.P. And I think it's called the large stipple brush. Um, I'm gonna try this. I see people do this. Is this a thing? Contouring like Coffee does it. Um, it's I've, working, I've done right? it before. Is it working? Yeah, but you have a pretty good jawline. Um, that's a lie. <laughs> it's true. Bold face lie. Okay, I'm not gonna use that cream product on my nose because I did powder it and I don't really, I don't know how to use cream bronzer on my nose because I barely contour on my nose. So I'm gonna go back into the Becca um, powder and just set my face quick. I'm using this Eco Tools powder brush. It's really big, but I just like how quickly you can set your face and it's pretty fluffy. So it like diffuses the powder. Oh my gosh, it feels like I'm drenching my That's skin so in water. Crazy. I'm going to use, so it's the Ilia Color Haze Multi Matte Pigment. These came out a few months ago. It's really tiny. I have the shade before today. I really like this and I never used it on camera. And I'm going to use my same foundation brush to show you how versatile the brush is. Um, but I just got to squirt some on my hand. It's a lot matter than other liquid brushes, brushes I, am really I have. Saying that. Um, but I, I like that it's a different texture. I have no idea where the cap went. I love the packaging. I think it's the cutest packaging. Okay, I really want to try their new eyeshadow palettes. If you guys have tried mm -hmm. them and their highlighters, I'm curious. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, so I'm just dipping my foundation brush. Okay, this is a lot. I applied a lot. <laughs> Are you not putting bronzer on? I already put bronzer on. Oh. That's right, the Marc Jacobs. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just going over that cream bronzer with a little bit of the Take Me Home bronze by the Balm in the shade Oscar, or they changed the shade names. It's the lightest one. Um, I just like to go over any cream bronzer to kind of set it, and this one's a similar tone. You know what? I like a heavy blush, so that's what we're doing today. Um, but yeah, look at this blush. It's going over powder pretty effortlessly, and like I said, this new brush is my favorite thing. I'm going to be using... The Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur blush. We've been loving these. And I usually use, oh wait. Sorry, I just wanna put some bronzer on my nose quickly. This is just how I usually do it with that same e.l.f. stipple brush. Um, just to add some color. Oh, I hate wasting this blush, it's pretty expensive as well. <laughs> but, oh well. Okay. Now I'm going back to the Bare Minerals blush. This is in the shade Mauve Sunrise. I haven't used this one as much as Blurred Buff. And I just thought it was a really pretty color. It's actually similar 
Oh yeah, <laughs> for that. Um, so we spoke about how we applied these, but we didn't demonstrate for you guys, so I'll demonstrate now. So you take the simple brush, this is the ColourPop Small Simple Brush, the F9. Put it like this in the blush. Why did I tap it? There's no excess. I don't know why I tapped it. And then um, I just go like this mm -hmm. and do swirling motions. Okay, and then while she's doing that, I'm going to use my highlighter. Um, Flesh recently sent us a package, so I'm using a few things from them as well. This is the Flesh, well, it's their liquid highlighter in the shade Whisper. It's like a deeper champagne, but it still somehow works for my skin tone. So I'm just going to put a drop of that um, onto the back of my hand, and then I'll show you how I apply this with a brush. Mine is a heavy blush day too, mm. folks. Lots of blush happening over in this household. Yeah, but you know what? You probably can't even... Well, maybe you can tell on camera. Maybe. Oh, I think it looks worse on camera. Okay, so in person it looks... I think mine ended up looking pretty good, if yeah. I may say so myself. Okay, so back to the Real Tech Technique setting brush. Wait, does mine look okay? Yep. Okay. I'm just gonna dab that in the liquid highlight. And then what I've been loving doing... Mr. Okay. Keeps I, I dabbed a little too much. What is with me today? Heavy hand. Um, it's just kind of like applying... What is that? With um, like really light strokes. It's a flush highlighter. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. pretty. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I've just been really, really loving a brush, specifically this brush, for liquid and cream highlights. Because before I would always use my finger, and while I think that's good, some of the highlights, even with my finger, would kind of lift up what I had as my base. And I realized like when I really apply very light touches with a brush, that just does not happen. Okay, wish me luck with this highlighter. I'm so picky about highlighters, but CoverGirl sent us these True Blend Super Stunner Hyper Glow. Um, oh my God, sorry, there's candle wax on my brush. Uh, so we're using our Dyad vessels that we cleaned out for that were the candles were gone. And I did do a great job of cleaning them out, so there was like wax on some Let's of my talk brushes. about that quick though. Oh, so yeah. For, so it might be launched by the time we post this? No, I don't think it'll be launched. We we can't say the launch date yet because we just don't want to commit until we um, for sure have the inventory in stock. But I just wanted to say thank you for everyone for all the support. Oh my gosh, you we, guys are the best. We announced our candle line, we posted our Instagram grid, and everyone has just been so nice and lovely. And it's the, You guys are great. It's so heartwarming. We're very excited. I, I can show you the vessel. I have, yeah, my brushes in it. I spent a good amount of time yesterday cleaning them out and I just got over it so I didn't like do a great job. I don't think I like this. That's okay. I know. I we think love the concealer. I know. I think it's just, um, it's like too intense for my liking. It is intense, but you know if you guys like intense highlights. Yeah, it's a really pretty shade you. actually. This is the shade Rose Quartz. Mm -hmm. It's a really pretty shade. It's like a pinky one and I feel like that's usually very flattering. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can just blend it out. I'm going to spray my face quick. No, I need to do that too. I'm out of my big Fix Plus, so I bought a mini because we're going to Seattle. Oh, can I use soon. that? Uh huh. So I'm going to spray my face. Oh, I didn't bring my fan. That's okay. And um, press everything together. Feels like this that bag of powder. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of glycerin in it. And then, you know what else I'm going to do? I normally don't do this, but I have a little bit of powder left in my cap. And I'm going to just kind of repowder my t-zone because I feel like I look shiny but you know what I'm running out I watched um Christy's video recently and she used the Fendi powder and it literally set itself ow oh my god my eye <laughs> okay for eyeshadow uh, I brought two options out here where they're both new to me and actually new in general one is the new um, Maybelline. They've released more shades of the color tattoo, which we used to love, Bad to the Bronze. It was like, oh my our, gosh, and they're barely branded. Yeah. I just remember that was what it was called. Um, it looks unassuming in the pan, but this is a really pretty shade. Where do they write the shades on these? Oh, it's High Roller. Um, it's really pretty, but I did wear this recently, and the thing that I've been just like obsessed with is the, this Kaja stack, and I talked about it in our favorites video, and I haven't used it on camera yet, and these are new too. They now do matte and shimmer stacks, so this is 08 Chocolate Dahlia, so I'm going to use the shades in here. By the way, sorry for like that weird um, scream. I, I have never had an issue with Fix Plus, and it just burned my eyes. It was so strange. Um, for eyeshadow today, 
I don't really have any new eye products, which is why I want to buy that Ilia palette, um, that one of the new, the warm palette, I think. Let me know if you guys have any new talc-free eyeshadow recommendations. But for today, I think I'm going to use um, the ColourPop Single Super Shock, what did I say single? Super Shock Shadow in the shade Vela. This is just a really pretty, unique, like, hopefully you can see, uh, like a peachy, pinky uh, shade. And I just love the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. I feel like they're so easy. I'm just going to go in with a crease color. Um, what is this crease color? Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek. I'm going to put that in my crease and then use my NYX Glitter Glue and apply um, Vela all over the lid. And it's super easy. It always looks really nice. You guys know. I mean, we put, didn't we put these as our favorite ColourPop product when we did that? Best of each brand video. I think we did, yeah. That was a fun video. Uh-huh. You guys would want to see, um, like, more brands and us doing... I mean, I like doing, like, the drugstore and expensive ones because I feel like more people use those, but we can do any brand. I feel like I need a big fluffy blush brush to blend out what I just did, but... My eyeshadow never looks perfected, and that's fine. What did you do? I just put the lighter shade, the middle shade, all over, and then I put a little bit of the dark shade in my crease. I'm going to put some of that lighter shade under my lower lash line, and then I'm even going to use the glitter shade that's in the top. Oh, also, we are going to be doing a dyad video to for the launch, and we'll explain like the journey it's been, creating mm -hmm. our own candle line, and everything that went into it. We'll talk more about each scent because I know ordering candles online can be difficult. I mean, we usually trust, like if you know uh, the notes you like and the type of scents you like, I feel like chances yeah. are you'll like mm -hmm. it, you know? Um, but it, we know it can be difficult, so we're gonna try to explain them best we can. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what I might do since this is kind of like a glitter topper, it's so pretty. I might spray my finger with Fix Plus and then go in. I think you should use glitter glue then. Does it get all over your face? Mm -hmm. No, I don't okay. think so. Okay, this is beautiful. Why don't I use this more? Oh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna take the NYX glitter glue. This is the best. And I also love this Alamar Cosmetics. It's just like their shader brush. That's like the only brush I use to apply this glitter glue. It works so well. Um, and then I'm going to press the ColourPop shadow on top of that. But even though you have to use a glitter glue, or in my opinion you have to, with these glittery Super Shock shadows, I still think this is like the easiest eye look. Like you guys saw, I just dusted a transition shade in my... Um, crease and put it on the lower lash line and then I'm putting this all over the lid and that's it it's just so effortless I was just gonna say so in my favorites video I mentioned this little trio is like my new favorite eyeshadow anything because it's so easy to travel with and I love all the shades but I said I don't use the top shade as much because it's this glittery champagne shade but it is so pretty like all I did was use those the three shades in here and I feel like this look it's just so completed and nice. Let me see. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. Color is so pretty. I don't wear it enough. Like, this is so pretty. Look at this. Those reflex. I think I have that one, too. You do. I have never worn it. It's so pretty. I just don't wear it enough because I always think it looks, like, not as wearable as it is. But when it's on the eye, it just looks like a peachy pink color and you know we're not big pink people over in this house but I don't know sometimes it's fun it actually looks really summery and fresh and I know summer is coming to an end thank god but I mean it's only when well, we're filming this to give you some context it's August 10th or no 9th yeah August 9th I'm using, this is not new and I apologize, but it's the CoverGirl Flourish Mascara in the teal tube. It's like in the lash glass line. It's molded brush. I love this mascara. I've repurchased probably three times and I will continue to do so. I know, I um, just purchased a tube of that too. But I think I'm going to use Lash Paradise. Ooh, I always poke myself in that one spot. Uh, Lash Paradise. I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> I need to move closer.
Oh, and actually first I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. Um, I switched to the CoverGirl Lash Gloss Primer. I like them both, so I just keep switching back and forth. I just feel like they work really similarly, um, and I don't know. I'm trying to decide which one I like more. Okay, so our camera cut out. I don't know why it does this. I know, but we, we think that we caught some of it, but if we didn't, we wanted to say we used mascara. So I use CoverGirl Flourish. It's in the Lash Blast line. It's amazing. I love it. It's pretty natural, but really nice. And then for my bottom lashes, I use the Mega Slim by Wet n Wild. I use both of those as well, but I also use the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara Primer and the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. And then I just go over top with the CoverGirl Flourish because this has like the more structured wand. So it kind of separates those lashes and then same Wet n Wild on the bottom. Okay, for brows, I'm just using my trusty CoverGirl Brow Pencil in Honey Brown. Same. I love this. I feel like I can't buy anything else. It's so cheap. I do wish it lasted longer. Like, you don't get that much product, I feel. But I think that's also true of most, um, most brow products. Yeah, that especially are in. the micro brow um, pencils yeah. because you can't really have a higher fill weight because they're so micro. Yeah. Okay, I'm really excited because in that CoverGirl package was their new brow gel. It's called Easy Breezy Brow, and I saw that it. That is so cute. I know. I saw it came in clear, and I was really excited when I saw it on Amazon, so I'm really happy they sent it to us. And it looks promising. It has a little short spoolie. Yeah, Carly's trying the clear, so I decided to try one of the colored ones. Where did I put it? Over here. Oh, no, that's not it. I'm going to try... The shade medium, 110, we'll see. I don't know, CoverGirl's been coming out with like some good, good products. I agree. So far, I like this. It, um, it, it, didn't, it didn't apply too much. Yeah. Which I like, so the wiper must work well. Oh yeah, look at that. It's still like, I'm still being so sloppy with it. Like, I didn't even double dip. I'm just kind of going back in with what's on my brush. Uh, okay, I think I should have used the lighter shade because I actually prefer to do deeper pencil, lighter um, brow gel, but I the formula is really nice. Yeah, there's probably like five shades total, I want to say. I think there's four. They're all in there. I think there's like three. Five including the clear? Oh. No, like three, four including the clear. Oh, okay. Well, so far, we'll see how this dries down. But so far, I like the look this clear gave me. And like I said, it didn't apply too much. Like, it wasn't chunky. Um, these brushes aren't my favorite sometimes. Oh, it's just hard to get control. Yeah, I, think I, want, I think I'm going to use the clear. I feel like it's like getting... You're going to muggy it up. No. No, not right now. Oh, oh. I'm saying in the future. Um, I don't need it right now. I'm saying that... Um, I think, okay, so I think the issue is that this takes a little bit to set down. Definitely. So as I'm trying, like usually with my other brow gels, I'll put them through and then I'll go in with a clean spoolie and just kind of like set everything in place. Um, here I have this little pack. I can read. And yeah, with this, it's like not drying down. So when I put the spoolie in, it's just like mixing it around. You know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't say much about it. It just says clear brow gel. But I do like it because now feeling it, it almost feels like a brow cream. Like I'm feeling, mm -hmm. like they don't feel stiff at all. They just feel it like, does look like, like waxy. Yeah, almost. this is definitely a gel. Yeah, I yeah. I mean, the first ingredient's water, then alcohol. So, you know, it's pretty standard. There's glycerin, but I do think I like it. I just um, wasn't prepared for it to like not dry super quick. I feel like a lot of brow gels I use, like I've been using Boy Brow, and that dries down fairly quickly. So I just wasn't prepared, but yeah, mine still isn't dry, but I'm going to move on to lips. So another flush product, which now looking at my look, I don't know if this shade really works, but I'm just going to go Same. for it. It's the um, flush, what is it called? Something flushy lips. lips. Is it flushy lips or oh, is no, that the other one? That's, is, yeah, the other one's works. flushy lips. Oh wait, no. No. Okay, I'm going to have to look up what this is called. I literally have written it down a million times. But it's their like solid lip colors and this is the shade Swollen. It's so pretty and it's super matte but it goes on like a stain. I'll show you. I just apply it with my fingers. I did bring a lip brush out if I need help. But I think it's so lovely and this shade is like perfect in this format because it just gives you like a... Like, ugh, I love it. Their packaging is just so nice too. Uh-huh. Oh, and we should probably mention about the um, foundation. 
So a few of you guys asked for a foundation review. Sorry, I'm just cleaning up my mascara. Of the new Flesh Foundation. What is it called? Do you know? Uh, we are flesh, being awful about the name. Fleshy skin, maybe? Something with skin, definitely. Um, And we tried it once. And I just don't know if it's for our skin type because... It had like a gel type formula, would you say? Well, as we told, yeah, it definitely feels like a gel, but as we said, I'm going through this like entire face reaction. Okay, so I think it was to my sunscreen. So it's really affecting this like portion of my face. Like I have a full on rash and I'm using ster steroid cream to try to diminish it. Um, but my entire face is kind of like flaking and dry. So it's honestly a really poor time. Uh -huh. Britta's, Britta's not having a reaction, but we did just get back from Wisconsin and we think the humidity to like dry change has also affected our uh, skin. The dry patches everywhere. So I want to revisit it in like a week or so. Yeah. But I will say it was pretty drying. Yeah. Which it's, is so weird because it looks luminous when it dries down, but it's somehow like, it really clung to my dry patches, like on my chin, my upper lip around my nose it just made them way more prominent but it looked really nice on the rest of the face like if you ha so i'm thinking if you have normal to oily skin you would like it yeah it's especially because it had a at first it had a very skin like finish yeah so we recommend it for those skin types but if you're dry like us um because we just we don't know if we want to do a full review on it if it didn't work for us because we just don't like to be negative but we did want to let you know because a few of you had asked and as I said, we will um, try, or I'm going to try, when my skin kind of clears up from whatever is happening right now. Ooh, I love this. Ooh, what is that? It's that new um, L'Oreal. Yeah, I didn't mention. I ordered one of these L'Oreal. What are they called? These, like, liquid lipsticks. Let me show you the packaging. We usually are so much better with names. I don't know why we're just... Um, you guys have probably seen these going around. It's their liquid lipsticks, and they had a range that I had, like, wanted to purchase some of the shades, but none of the shades really spoke to me, and so I never tried them, and then they just expanded the range, and this is the shade I tease, and I think I love this. Like, this color is so beautiful, and this formula, it goes on so smooth. Like, how, my lips look so smooth. Yeah, that's really nice. Look at mine. This is absolutely gorgeous. Pretty great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like this, oh my gosh, this formula and the packaging, and this was only $10. So there's another like terracotta shade I want to get. I will say they have like that standard chemical smell. Do you smell that? Or is it just me? Mm -hmm. It's not bad, but it smells like chemicals. Um, but it's not fragrance or anything, which is nice. And I love this applicator. Oh my gosh, I love this. It's really pretty. Um, okay, I just dropped my liquid lipstick, but as you guys saw, I love this. Obviously, it's my first time wearing it, but the formula dries down to be oh my gosh it's so unique it feels almost like oil going on and then it dries down to be like a matte finish but a comfort matte it's such a thin formula you can go like this and it doesn't get streaky it doesn't stick together i love this color so much i want to try more shades in this so i love I this try like a bolder shade in that they have i mean mostly bold shades yeah. um yeah. they have an orange it's really pretty i want to it's in my target cart i'm actually gonna get it next time i place that order concealer Oh my god, really good so far. It's so good. Um, I did have an issue when I sprayed that Fix Plus and then it picked up a little bit for some reason. And when I was laying it back down, like I couldn't get it to not look patchy. So if it looks patchy, it's just because of that setting spray. I don't think it's the concealer itself. But so far, I feel like this looks nice. It doesn't look, it's creasing a little bit on me. But I think it's good. For a drugstore concealer, I think this is really good. Me too. I'm really impressed. We're going to continue using it. But so far, so great. So at first I hated this highlighter. I thought it was too metallic. Now looking at it, I actually think it's really pretty. But I just wouldn't wear it every day because it is very intense for my preference. But again, this color, Rose Quartz, is really, really flattering. So I do think I'll keep this and I'll use it on days when I have more, when I'm more done up. Um, what other new products? Oh, the, the Clear Brow Gel. Um, it's dried down a bit now. And I actually equate the hold to that of Benefit's Gimme Brow. People really love that product. I don't think it has that much hold, but I do like that. Wait, this like has a so natural much hold. look. Well, they're different formulas. This is the clear. Oh, you think? There's okay. no way they're the same. Okay. No. Um, so this one is very light hold and I like that. It, like my, my brows feel fluffy and like almost soft. It definitely doesn't feel crunchy. Um, it doesn't... It, they may fall throughout the day, but I kind of like that it's very, like, 
loose and they look really fluffy and nice. So, so far, really good brow gel at the drugstore. Yeah, I like this one too. Like I said, it was user error. I didn't really know how the formula would be. I have never actually purchased or used a brow um, gel that dries down this slowly. So I think I just wasn't used to it. But I do like that it gives you time to work. How I would recommend using this is using a small amount, putting it through the brows, waiting a little bit so it dries down, becomes more tacky, and then going in with a spoolie if you're like me and like that extra step. Um, but once it dried down, I feel like the hold is firm on this. Like, Good. my brows aren't going anywhere, but they also still really look natural. So I really like this. I am going to try the lighter shade, though, because I don't really love a super deep brow like this on me. Um, just because my hair is like lighter now, obviously. So I'm going to try the light shade, but I think I like this. This is good. And then everything else we used is either new to us. So oh, the primer. Not technically new. Oh, yeah. The, um, this actually felt so nice going on the hydrating primer by CoverGirl. I just wish that it didn't have that cucumber scent because it could, it had so many. Um, it says all-in-one primer and moisturizer, hydrates skin and delivers all-day moisture. So yeah, I if you aren't sensitive to fragrance, you can try this because it did feel really nice going on, but it smells like cucumber, so just beware. Okay, and that's it for this Get Ready With Me. Thank you guys for watching. Um, we like to do these once in a while. If you'd like yeah. to see more of them or we've done them separate so we can kind of like talk through what we're doing more, let us know and we'll be happy to do them. Yeah.